What's your favorite way to take chocolate? Ooh, um, I like when I'm at home and I can make um, a morning smoothie that I just drink all day. I just in the winter time it's snow outside, so you know that's all you got to eat. Nice. And um, what I'll do is I'll take. Um, a tea, like chaga tea. So chaga the mushroom. Chaga Just mushroom. To clarify, clarify if you didn't that. Know. Thank you. Yeah, chaga Very the mushroom. Good. Yes. Chaga, C H A G A, is the king of the medicinal mushrooms, mm, and tell us about it's it. it's it's the second highest antioxidant food in the world, other than chocolate. It comes from mostly birch trees in the circumpolar northern temperate climate of the world, from the United States and Canada all the way across to Europe and Scandinavia, all the way across into Russia and then into Asia. Hmm. Um, it is one of the most prized herbs in Chinese medicine, although no one's ever heard of that. <laughs> it's the most prized herb in historic Russian folk herbalism. Hmm. Um, it has very high regard in Scandinavia, historically, and is mentioned in some Native American contexts. Um, it's been used as a medicine and to control fire for at least 5,000 years, and maybe longer, maybe 50,000 years hmm. um, that we know of. So this is a mushroom that's had a very close interaction with humans for a very, very long time, more than any, more than ginseng, hmm. more than goji berry, more than any food, more than lettuce, anything. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, so it's very, very important historically because it creates the best coal. It's a coal extender, you know, that's the definition of it. So if you had to make fire from nothing, so it really, it's a, it's really makes it easier, wow. a lot easier, yeah. Wow. So, that, so that's like one aspect of it. with a little chaga. chaga in yeah, it. chaga. Nice. So um, most people get into chaga, eventually what happens is it's like they're just on it. It becomes part <laughs> of what they're into. Yeah. You know, like most raw foodists, they're yeah. like, I'll say to them, like, have you ever heard of chaga? And they're like, oh, it's based on my smoothie every day. Yeah. It's like, yeah. It went from nothing to the base of your <laughs> smoothie every day. How'd that happen, right? Because it's like that. It's so tonic. It's so wonderful. Yeah. It's so t beautiful and flavor and taste. tastes like vanilla that it just goes from, like, never heard of it to use it every day. Every day. Yeah. Now, are people using powdered or are they using the actual mushroom? Um, both. 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 Yeah, if you can't get the actual mushroom, you can use the powders, which are really nice. It's polysaccharides, great for sure. digestion, great for brain, great for connective tissue. Um, but the chaga wild material you make into a tea and or you can extract with alcohol um, but we make it into a tea at my house and then I'll use that as the base for my chocolate drink in you know in the middle of the winter